Hello everyone and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Um, today we are taking the defect uh, up the spire on Ascension level 1. We aren't trying for a heart kill, we're just going to try and get a, uh, a win and unlock the next Ascension. If a heart kill presents itself, we'll, we'll give it a go. So I've got a couple of options here. Uh, remove a card, three random potions, or remove two cards. Hey Evelpha! in my chat. How are you doing? I think I'm going to go for lose the HP and remove two cards. We'll take out a strike and a defend. And that way we'll get the zap card out a bit quicker. Um, if Elsa in my chat says she's going to eat some of the ham I left in the fridge. <laughs> go for it. Cost me a five of that ham. Right, so we've got the Hexa Ghost at the top. Uh, I want to be getting as many upgrades as possible as usual. Uh, and I think we're going to go along the centre track to the shop, fight the elite. Oh, no, no. I, uh, hang on. No, we're going to take the right-hand track here, uh, do the normal fights, and then get the three upgrades on the way. Here we go. <clears throat> Pretty solid start. Now, I must be aware that I cannot heal and I've got low health so I do want to be looking at boosting that health back up uh, where possible um, let's take leap nice powerful block card and I want to get that one upgraded as soon as possible we're going to lose some HP here remove another card from the deck and actually going to remove um... no I'll remove a strike <laughs> I want to be replacing the strikes and, and, and defense so if I remove another card I'll take a defend now Let's uh, block this incoming damage and then dual cast. Nice. Let's get a zap on the board. I'll just kill you. And then we can focus fire on this uh, bigger slime here. Okay, let's zap and we got him. Good. I'm feeling good about this start. Explosive potion, that'll come in handy. And then I've got, <clears throat> this is my first big choice. Do I go for boot sequence, which is 10 block right at the start, or do I go for capacitor and gain two orb slots? I think we're going to take boot sequence because I don't really know if I'm getting a lot of orbs yet. And we'll sort of see how that rounds out. So first and foremost, we're going to dual cast here, see what happens. We will attack there and then we'll actually use boot sequence just to fully block that seven damage coming in and then we should have this louse on the next round funny thing ever since i've been playing this for years and years i look at that word louse and my head sees the word louise <laughs> so if you're called louise and you're watching this i apologize you're not a louse okay so We've got a leap card, we've got boot sequence, so block is kind of covered. Let's take defragment and let's look at buffing some of those orbs. Get a nice steady run on the go. Let's do zap. And then we'll play these two blocks. Now I'm not putting out a lot of damage early here, so let's do what we can, but this guy might escape. Let's uh, block there. Hmm, maybe. Well, if I get dual cast out now, it could be all right. Nice. We should have a strike on this one. There he goes. Cool, we're on 157 gold. That's good. And now I think, even though Capacitor is powerful, I'm not generating a lot of orbs with this. So I think I'm going to take Ball Lightning. Seven damage, Channel of Lightning. That's 10 damage for one energy. That's really good. Upgrade it, and that's 13 damage. And then, of course, it's ongoing if you're using the orbs. So first thing we'll do is upgrade it. Uh, that's going to be my main damage dealing card. Uh, now, 175 gold. Where is my next shop? Uh, I've got one on the right-hand track, so I can stomach the doubt card. We'll take that. The only thing that's really going to impact heavily is ball lightning, and not for long. So by the time we get to the boss, it'll be dealt with. Let's pick up an upgrade here. Uh, let's throw that onto defragment so we get to focus, making those lightning orbs a bit stronger. Uh, huh. A whetstone is going to upgrade the two attacks I'm planning to get rid of, which is kind of annoying. Uh, 
I think it's it's really telling me to take the sapphire key, isn't it? Uh, let's just let's just do that. Maybe that was a mistake. Time will tell. All right, explosive potion, and let's block that incoming. Let's get a zap on the board, and then we'll hit you with strike. What's that? That's nine damage coming in. Lovely. This is exactly the right build to deal with these little gremlins. All right, let's defragment. Let's attack you, and then draw cast. All right. <clears throat> Haven't lost any dam uh, any energy in a while. Now, 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 now. I don't have a lot of power cards. I've just got one, so force field might not be the take. I think I'm going to take melter. Remove all block from the enemy and deal ten damage. That could help me with quite a few different things. Uh, I won't upgrade Melter because it its main function is taking away the block. The fact that it does more damage or not is not really an issue. Um, <clears throat> I want to upgrade Leap, but I also want to upgrade Zap. I think I'm going to upgrade Zap first and then go to Leap second. Uh, let's fight this uh, big meanie here. <clears throat> I'm not happy. I'm <laughs> not happy at... This is the only elite that I fought, and it's uh, is not the one I like. So we're gonna we're gonna take some serious hurt here. We might end up down on about twenty health. Yeah, let's block there. Strike. Can I get him down in the next round? That's the trick. Yeah. Whew, that was close. That would have been nasty if I'd have taken that next hit. War paint. Um, got my leap def uh, leap upgraded. My defend upgraded. Speed potion that will come on handy, come in handy at the boss, and then um, let's have a look here. Auto shields could be the take here, really. Deal seven damage, draw one card for each unique orb you have. And we've only got lightning, so that's not too powerful. Amplify, I'm not doesn't seem to be doing a big power card build, so amplify probably isn't the take. Let's go for auto shields, and then let's get rid of that doubt card in here. I've got 426 money. Now, lots of options. Panache, every time you play five cards in a single turn, deal 10 damage to all enemies. That's good. Hello World is a very random card that can really make things get a bit crazy. Uh, Scrape, I'm not going to take for this one. I think Good Instinct is probably the one to go for. And then I think... Uh, do I want Happy Flower or do I want Panache? <clears throat> Panache is a power card. Uh, and it is free. But will I be playing five cards? There's a strong possibility I could be playing five cards later. I think what I really want to make sure I'm doing, though, is... Yeah, I think we're going to take Panache in this case. I wouldn't normally. I'd normally favour the Happy Flower, but if, if I can get an Energy Relic on the boss, then I'm all good. Uh, hologram. Let's take Hologram. I won't bother upgrading hologram, that's just to get uh, a lightning card back on the table. Now, uh, obtain a relic, or heal 22 HP and then just upgrade a card. I think I'm going to do that, so we'll, we'll heal the HP, and then we'll do the card upgrade here. Let's upgrade Good Instincts, because it's a free card, it's 9 block, that's going to come in super handy. Now, I need to be mindful on this one that I've got the speed potion to use if I need it. Nice defragment early. A little bit of damage, and let's go. So, is this the time to use auto shields? Uh, what's 6 times 6? Six? 6 times 5 is 30. 36. Yeah, so we're actually going to use the dexterity potion. Auto shields. Block. Is there anything here I want to pull out? Uh, there isn't anything I want to pull out, so I'm actually just going to take the three damage, and we'll just do Melter. So I want to save that hologram for when I can pull out something that costs zero, like Good Instincts or Zap. Uh, block there. Lightning. Now, do I want to dual cast here, or do I want to be building this lightning? I think it's it's a tough one. Let's let's dual cast because I think we need to get this guy dead as quickly as possible. 
If I had more focus, I would think about just building the lightning. But I don't quite have that. Yeah, see that panache was, I think, the right take. Uh, 11, I'm going to get a burn. What I'm not going to do is use dual cast if I'm down to one orb. So let's hologram. Uh, let's get ball lightning back. Do that one again. Cool. I'll remove the block. And then I think I'll take the one damage. I'm not going to use boot sequence to just block one. Cool. Let's auto shield there. Play leap and then we'll do a cast. These burns are getting a bit messy, but we have now done it, so. Right. First boss off the table. Didn't get too destroyed. Got distilled chaos potion. Uh, play the top three cards of your draw pile. And then what cards should we take? <clears throat> now, these can be traps. Multicast is not how I'm going, so we'll ignore that. Machine learning. At the start of your turn, draw one additional card. That can be good because we want to get the lightning cards out. Or buffer. Prevent the next time you would lose HP. That can be such a clutch card. Especially if I've got hologram. So I can pull it out if I haven't used it. Um... I do have a good enough knowledge of the attack patterns of the bosses to make it work. I'm really selling it, aren't I, Buffer? Let's let's take Buffer. Let's take Buffer. Now, I've not been picking up a lot of potions, actually. So let's take the Sozu. And we'll save that distilled chaos for when we really need it. Right, we've got the Automaton boss. Uh, so we really want to have a lot of block by the time we get there. So maybe we want to look at picking up some Frost cards. Uh, this middle track's got two upgrades on it. And we've got a bit of money. And then we can take the centre-left track for an upgrade there, or even fight the Flaming Elite if we feel up to it. Let's go... Let's go this way. See what's in that shop next time around. Auto shields. Bit of a crap start. <laughs> actually so let's I'm just going to play the still chaos just get it get it done I could have used actually hologram there to pull back out my uh, my ball lightning card but I, I pressed done before I thought of it we'll play buffer now, because I've got an orb build, we're not going to be breaking down his plated armor, so this fight's going to take a while. That's good instincts. Fragment. Remove block. Oh, maybe it's not going to take a while. Buffer stopped me taking damage there. Very nice. Uh, let's leap here. Have I even used boot sequence yet? I don't know if I have. Cold snap. Deal six damage, channel one frost. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll take that because in general I just want more orbs uh, to be cycling those orbs more quickly 130 money blizzard I'm not going to take because I don't I'm not generating tons of frost so I think should we just get rid of a strike I think that's I think that's the play get rid of the strike I could have taken defragment and then upgraded it but I think I'll be alright without it See what's in here. Duplicate a card in your deck. Well, haha. Let's duplicate Defragment. <laughs> Perfect. Now, I'm going to go in the shop. I can't afford anything, but it just uh, gets me on to the next thing. Let's see what's here, and then we'll decide whether we're doing an upgrade or fighting the Flaming Elite. Do cold Snap, defend, boot sequence, and let's put some damage out. We're going to take one damage here. Defragment. Now, I don't want to play hologram here. There's nothing... There's no reason to. Um, I've blocked the incoming damage and it just... It would just generate uh, more block. Okay, 
We're going to lose that guy at the back. He's going to be gone before we can kill him. Let's get you. Yeah. We didn't have any money anyway. <laughs> had 30 gold, I think. So I ended up with more than I started with. Uh, skill potion, can't take that. Now, do I want to fall into the trap of taking tons of power cards? No, I don't. Bias, cognition, or loop? Let's go for loop. Now, hmm. Should I fight the flaming elite, or should I? This might be the slavers, though, and the buffed slavers. I don't think I'm strong enough to beat, so we're going to go for an upgrade. Uh, buffer, prevent the next two times you would lose HP. That is absolutely awesome. And with the four energy as well, it makes it really easy to actually play it. Uh, gain five max HP and lose 17. I think we'll take that trade. That brings us back up to pretty much what we were going to be losing before. I uh, don't feel like fighting that elite, so we'll go for this here. Obtain a relic. At the end of your turn, gain one frail. Yes. Or a calcum. If we finish without any block, we get six block. Don't really need that, but it's fine. 23 gold, ancient tea set. Nice. And can I buy anything? Good. Oh, I can't buy potions. Uh, now normally I'd take Steam Barrier, but I'm pretty happy with everything as it's laid out. So I'm actually going to leave that and see if I get something better that's kind of upgraded. Uh, let's get... Hmm... What is the best one to upgrade here? I think Panache, actually. Because I do seem to be cycling through a lot of cards. Alright, we're about to get confused, which should make things interesting. And we've got a Frail, so you'll bear that in mind. Defragment is free, that is awesome. Oh, damn it. I meant to hit Auto Shields first. They won't do anything. What a pain. Do that. Let's pull out boot sequence. Oh, I didn't actually need to. <laughs> wow, what a bad, what a bad opening, <laughs> opening gambit. Right, let's get buffer on the table. Uh, we'll play a zap or we'll dual cast. And then can I prevent being hit? So sixteen plus five, twenty-one. No, I'll still get hit anyway. So. Right, one of my uh, buffers is gone. Let's loop. Let's defragment. Good instincts. All right. I think we got this one in the bag. Uh, defend. Cold snap. Lightning. Fabulous. I'll be right back. I need to get some water. And I'm back. Thank you for waiting. Now, do I want any of these? Bullseye always seems like a good idea, but it never quite works. I always find that the lightning just doesn't make the most of the lock-on. Maybe that's just me and the way I play or, or whatever. I think uh, Cool-Headed might be a good one to go for. 
uh, to get ready for when we get rid of shame. But I think in this case, I'm going to hang off on that. And... No, I am going to take it. I am going to take it. Yep, because I can upgrade it right here. The drawing two cards thing is, is really, really powerful. And now we have to fight an elite. So we've got the Book of Stabbing. Uh, we've got a nice strong start there, so that's good. Uh, we're going to negate the 12 damage. Let's play loop. Okay, we're going to take a hit here. I actually kind of want to keep the lightning on the table for the moment, because I'm not killing this thing anytime soon. Ouch. So we're down to about half. Uh, buffer, absolutely clutch. Fantastic. Uh, I want to block a lot with this guy, so let's... Cool-headed. Shame's come out. What a shame. Right. Four, six times four. What's that? 24. Can I negate 24 damage? I don't think I can. Ball lightning, zap. Hologram. Ball lightning again. Hey, yeah, we got all the block. Nice. Okay, this fight went actually better than I was expecting. Uh, this is a bad hand, though. Fortunately, we've got buffer, so one of those hits. Oh, he's, he's dead. Hey! <laughs> sometimes, sometimes with the defect, if you've got a very, a very orb cycly build, um, you focus so much on what's going on with the character that you forget that you've beaten the enemy. Uh, okay. Cool-headed. I've got a lot of cool-headed, and I think that's going to be useful for the automaton. So let's take another one. And then... Oh, actually going to rest here. Because I want to be able to tank at least one of those big shots if the block build doesn't come off. So let's defragment, first of all, and strike. Terrible, terrible opening round. And um, the threaded needle I didn't realise I picked up. Uh, fantastic. So we, if we don't have any block, we get 10 block. If that makes sense. Do I want to play buffer now? I don't think I do, you know. I think I'm going to hang on to that for when something horrible happens. Let's play that. Let's get our zap back. Cold snap. Melter. We're going to take a, a bit of a hit here. 11 damage. Ouch. And then we will start building this block. So, play that one. Uh, auto shields is useless now. Auto shields might actually become a bit of a dead card uh, with the way this is going, because with the cycling the orbs with the frost orbs and then pulling out auto shields at the wrong time. But I'll keep it because, you know, it might just come in handy at some point. Defragment. Cool headed again. Tons of block. Very nice. Uh, 28 incoming. We've already beaten that, so I don't need to dual cast the frost. Oh, did you see Panache just come out then? What what happened there? I'll have to consult the footage. What happened there? Because that was definitely not in my hand. Where did it show up from? Oh, I feel cheated. All right. Let's try and take these guys down. Auto shields get It's just never going to be played. It's just never going to be any use whatsoever. But it was good when we had it. Apart from that time, I forgot to use it. <gasps> Buffer! You came out at the perfect time! Look at that! Ha <laughs> ha! Smell you later, automaton. That That is absolutely fantastic. I'm so happy. That was luck, though. If that hadn't come out then, I'd have taken a serious hit. Right. Okay. If I keep playing cool-headed, what am I actually looking for? What do I want to come out? I want panache to come out. And it didn't. <laughs> oh, man. Right, it's coming out on the next one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so let's... Uh, strike. Uh, let's dual cast. Oh, imagine if I had... Um, 
like a barrier type card or the uh, the calipers right now. Auto shields doing nothing. I'm happy with the amount of block we're generating, but it's not like silly block, you know. It's still like still a bit vulnerable. Uh, we don't need to. We don't need to dual cast that. So the downside is this fight's taking a long time. So let's melt off his armor. Zap. Every time I see the Zap card, I always think of my favourite Zap Brannigan quote, which is, "There isn't a restaurant built that I couldn't fly." <laughs> She's built like a steakhouse, but handles like a bistro. Anyway, I, I get, I did get distracted. Here we go. See, we're generating tons of block, but I'm really not hurting this guy much at all. Just try and. Just try and uh, focus that dual cast on when there's a lightning orb at the front. Try and keep a lightning orb at the front where I can. Oh, I don't need to block here because uh, I've got a buffer left to take out that 57. Very rarely do I get to the second hyper beam in this fight, so yeah. Right, let's do cool headed first. And again. Melter. Cool, we got him. So, we've got 199 gold. Now. Now. I was complaining at having no damage. So, if I go for Meteor Strike, I don't have any Plasma Orbs, so I've got no way to really prep to get that out, unless I get an Energy Relic next. <laughs> Which I don't know <laughs> until I get past this. So I think to play it safe, what we'll do is Thunderstrike. Try and get that upgraded and that'll be powerful because we are channeling a lot of lightning. It's just we tend to keep a lot of... How annoying. Meteor Swarm would have would have worked because I got the busted crown. Oh well. We'll take it. It just means I've got a stronger possibility of being able to execute Thunderstrike. Which would be very good against the Time Eater. Okay. Let's go this middle left track. Go to some of those mystery rooms. Defragment, loop. Uh, we won't play dual cast just here because I want that loop to be active. I want something to stay on that front wall. Right, auto shield, defrag, block, block, block. Really want to get rid of the, that uh, shame card as soon as I can. Panache, uh, yeah, let's buffer here. Cool headed. Have I got anything good in there to bring out? Not really. Hmm. Let's. So we're going to get 12 block anyway. Play Leap. That'll put me on 21. Yep. Oh, and I've got the Thread and Needle. I forgot about that. Cool. Okay. So we've lost our buffer. Got to bear that in mind. But now we should be generating block like crazy. So I'm not going to be too bothered about any of that. Let's try and... Let's try and get all these done in one, because I don't want to be chasing my tail with this lot. Three, I've channeled three lightning for Thunderstrike. Ouch. All right, where's that? Thunderstrike. Nice. <laughs> uh, hologram. I think no in this case. I won't take hologram. Let's get to the shop. Let's get rid of that flipping shame card. We do not want that anymore. Goodbye. Uh, is there anything here I particularly want? Hmm. I think we'll take the power potion. We might set. We'll save it. Oh, can't take potions, idiot. 
No, in which case there's nothing I want from this shop. Now, I just got rid of a curse. Oh, and I'm at full health. So my options are lose four max HP or take two madness, which I don't really want, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that option. I've got 85 money, but I'd rather go to the mystery thing. Uh, I want a rare relic. Simath in my chat is saying, thank the developers you can't actually buy a potion uh, while you have the Sozu relic. Uh, it would have been very annoying. I believe in early playtesting you could do that, and it was highlighted very quickly. Um, it's a very community-driven development cycle, as far as I'm aware. Um, now, my build takes a long time to come online, and it's not like the ironclad where you just like heavy damage right off the bat. So I'm going to actually not fight these guys. I know, I know, that relic could have been very useful, but what can I say? Uh, but I will take capacitor, I think. Those extra orb slops are going to be really useful. <laughs> orb slops with a T, not slops. Slops with a P. Orb slops. Uh, let's uh, do an upgrade here. So Thunderstrike does nine damage for each lightning. If I can get Madness on Thunderstrike, that'd be good. Uh, let's take a punt on this Flaming Elite. It's the big giant head. Panache, zap, full lightning. Let's dual cast on him. Now, the slow feature of the big giant head uh, is based around attacks, so my orbs are going to be a little bit devalued. Let's, uh, let's cheese this a bit by doing Leap, Bend, and then madness to make Thunderstrike cost nothing. Now, does that stay as nothing for the rest of the combat? I think it does. That's good. Alright, so we're going to defend first. Might save that madness, you know, because buffer's... When buffer's gone, it's gone. But let's save buffer for when we're going to take a heavy hit anyway. And in fact, let's play madness, make it cost nothing, and then not play it. We'll play it later. Okay, good instincts. What do I want to pull out with hologram? Uh, let's pull out. Let's pull out Thunderstrike. <laughs> and then let's play as many cards as we can before we have to actually play Thunderstrike. All right, there we go. 14 damage. Have I only channeled three lightning? What the heck? Right, here we go. He's starting to put out some serious business now. So we'll uh, we'll defragment. We'll cool headed. Uh, we'll auto shield. I think I'll play leap there. Cool. Play all the block cards. So the slow, basically, because of that four slow, he'll take uh, an extra four damage per attack. Although it seems to be reduced to three for some reason. Okay, I think we're going to manage this fight. Now, this is good. So buffer has come out at a time when I don't have a lot of block available. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Uh, let's play Zap here. Another cool headed. A bit of Melter. I'm not too fussed about dual casting anymore because I just want to keep it consistent. Oh, I'm going to take one damage. Oh, that, that killed one of my buffers. That's very sad. Right, auto shields. Bend. Bend again. Hold snap. Uh, 50. What is 24 plus 3? 29 plus 18. 29 plus 18 is... In the chat, let me know what's 29 plus 18. <laughs> uh, 47. So 
I would take damage, so I'm going to use boot sequence. I don't want to uh, lose. I don't want to lose my buffer to like three damage. Right, let's cycle some of these. I think we'll dual cast here. And then Thunder Strike to finish him off. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't like a killer one. <laughs> but I think we'll play. We'll put Panache in the. Uh, bottle tornado thing. Emerald key, dexterity potion which I can't take, and then barrage which I don't want. We've got two of the keys, but I'm not prioritizing a heart kill if I think if it's a difference between surviving the run or or not, I won't get I won't go for that final key, like if I need to heal or something. So how I do against this orb guy what are they called again? Orb Walker will kind of give me a metric on how badly I would have done on the two together earlier in the earlier in the run. Let's buffer against this attack here. Okay. Zap. Let's uh I guess we'll just save those madnesses because I don't need to don't need to use them. Yeah, this fight's going pretty badly. And I don't really feel like it's decisions because I'm just playing every card that comes up, so. Can't use auto shields, which is a shame. Uh oh, <laughs> that was that was rough. Uh but we have got him. We have got him. So yeah, I don't think that the Fight against the two orb walkers would have gone well. Uh, Beam cell, don't want that. Would be good with Thunderstrike, but I've got so many cards now that I can't guarantee Thunderstrike coming out. This is the one character where I always just seem to lose my way. Like, how did I end up with 25 cards? Stone Calendar. At the end of turn 7, deal 52 damage to all enemies. If you make it to turn 14, it does it again. And it counts cumulatively through the battles, which is super cool. Let's draw some cards out. Uh, let's cheese this. Uh, we won't play buffer just yet. We'll... Oh no, no we can. Yeah, I'll play it now. Why, why wouldn't I? What I wouldn't give for electrodynamics right now. about to get hurt. Ouch. Ouch. That's my buffer's gone. Defrag. Auto shields. Alright, let's... Uh, we're actually safe against... So what's... 20 plus 12 is 32. 16 plus 11 is 27. So we're actually safe against these attacks. So I'm going to direct the melter towards this Darkling here. And hopefully we can get all three of them dead in the next round. Right, that's one dead. What should we get back out? Uh, Thunderstrike? Yes, please. What a shame. We'll get him on the next one. Oh, I don't, I don't even need to play anything. There we go. Uh, Essence of Darkness. Uh, can't take potions. Auto shields plus. What a shame. What a shame auto shields is letting me down so much. Let's take this mystery room. How much gold have I got? I can't buy, <laughs> buy any potions. <laughs> Lame. Right, okay. Uh, let's... Uh, Spring for an upgrade here. What do I want to upgrade? I actually think that the good play here is the capacitor for the extra orb slot. Yeah, I could upgrade dual cast, but I've got so much energy, uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't need it. And I'm actually not relying on it. I'm relying on having a lot of orbs and just having that passive, repeated 
chug every time. Okay, we're up against the Reptomancer here, so I want to be super careful. Shall I just get... Right, that negates the first hit. Oh, do you know, I'm just going to play buffer now, because... I know what will happen is I'll wait for it to come round and then in six turns I'll be dead. These daggers are an absolute nightmare. Right, there's one buffer gone. Flipping heck. Okay. You know what I said about not playing dual cast? <laughs> this is the one elite where you really don't want to mess around with bringing things online. So let's get the... Let's let's take a punt on you. Yep, nice. That, that worked exactly how I wanted. Now let's dual cast and hope that the daggers go down. That did not work out the way I wanted. Let's do cool headed. Ouchy flipping ouch. All right, we'll defragment there. <clears throat> and hopefully the lightning bolt is going to hit that final dagger. That would be a stroke of luck. It did not. Unfortunate. So we've just taken a hit there. Channeled three lightning. I always feel like I've channeled more lightning than I have. See, the passive block, like it feels like it's a lot, but it's not. It's really not. Um, let's do this. We'll make Melter cost nothing. And we'll, we'll hang on to this madness. I want to get it lined up with Thunderstrike if I can. All right, also shields. Loop. Zap. It's just a matter of playing all the cards now, really. And hoping for the best. The strategy, the strategy with the defect is basically all in the build on the way up the Spire. If... At this point, it could almost auto-play. Almost. Okay. Capacitor. Bosch. Dual cast for a bit of block. And again, we'll save the madness. Oh, there was a moment there where that was feeling a bit tense, actually. But we managed to make it through. Letter opener. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. That's actually really good. Uh, can't take the potion. And then recursion. Evoke your next orb. That is good, but it's a bit late to take it. I like to take it early and then build around it. What I'm not liking is that I've got both those madness cards in my hand. Okay. Let's actually, what well, have I got? Four left. Let's do that. Let's use hologram and get cool headed back out. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And then we'll play loop uh, and then we'll do boot sequence. That way we're kind of online a bit more quickly than we normally would be. All right, good instincts, defrag. Let's do a cool head open. See, these Madness cards are pissing me off. Get rid of them. I don't care anymore. Right. It was very unfortunate how that went. <laughs> very unfortunate indeed. Let's kill you. Let's play buffer. Uh, so it looks like I might need to heal. So we won't be going for the heart, unfortunately. Power potion, no. Okay, so yeah, against the time eater, I'm not going into that fight with 38 health. I just, I just won't win. So we have to heal. Even with 59 health, it's. It's not a guarantee, especially that I'm relying on playing a lot of cards, and that is her that is her strength. Okay. 
Okay, so we've taken a hit straight off the bat, not good. Right, we're on eight. Now my plan is to get these orbs uh, filled up as quickly as possible so that I don't have to play then play a lot of cards. And I can just kind of sit on my laurels and, and defend. Right, so I've got, I've got three card plays here. So let's do hologram. Let's bring leap back out. And then we have to defend. Okay. Seven. So we're on just over half health. I think... Uh, well, auto shield. Can I negate all of that? What's nine times three? Uh, Twenty-seven. So, eleven. Yeah, I yeah I can negate all of that. All right, cool. In which case, we will play buffer. So when she does one of those big like forty hits, we can uh, we can deal with that. Now, we've almost got a full orb thing, which is just great. 28, uh, 6 times 3, 18, plus 8, 26, plus 2. Oh, we've got bang on. So let's do Thunder Strike. Lovely. Right, she's nearly at half health, so we should be mindful of that. Let's cheese this slightly by making Melter free. Uh, but actually not playing it, because I want to have two card plays on the next round just in case we need to get out of trouble. So yeah, let's lose. Let, uh, let's use those two card plays. We've got 18, so we've got 20 block on the board. So if I auto shield and then thunder strike. What is half of four, five, six? Uh, two, two, five, plus three, two, two, eight. So she's actually on half health now. Uh, the sensible play would I don't want her to come back stronger. Uh, I don't need to attack. And the stone calendar is about to go off as well. Right, let's see if we can get her dead in the next round. Can we do 128 damage in one turn? 114 damage in one turn. Uh, absolutely not. What a shame. It was, a, it was worth a try. Okay, so we've got uh, nine card plays that we can do. Aha! Perfect, right, I want Madness to apply to Thunderstrike. Seamath is saying in the chat last time that he fought her she didn't heal for some reason and um, sometimes that can happen if you just kill her quickly enough. Maybe that's what you did? I don't know. Right. I don't want to do I've got four energy. So one, two, three. So I'll be able to... Yeah, I've got enough card plays, enough energy. Oh, but if I play cool-headed, I'm going to draw cards. Urgh. Urgh. Okay, let's gamble this. So let's uh, dual cast. Yeah, that's going to work. Let's cold snap. Let's now play Madness. And we are laughing. Good instincts. And then Thunderstrike, six lightning. We've got one card play when we get back from... Back from our break, which is not good, because I'm about to take a hell of a lot of damage. So let's just block what we can and hope for the best. I think we're okay. We lost our buffer for, for, the, for the sake of one damage there. Uh, it's also shields, lightning, and melter. We got her! Yeah! All right. That was not a smooth run. That was very iffy, actually. CMF in the chat says, nice one. And if Alpha says, yay! You charge your core to its maximum. 727 damage. I've dealt a total of 4,512, at least on this PlayStation save file. And a total of uh, 
five billion eight hundred and ninety two million nine hundred and thirty seven thousand one hundred and fourteen damage has been dealt by all who have challenged it. The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness fades. Ascension two unlocked. Oh, I don't I don't have all the cards unlocked. Flipping heck. Okay. <laughs> CMS says he dealt at least two damage to it. Okay, so we've got Core Surge available. That is actually great. Recycle is a, a, a favourite of mine when it's upgraded. It costs zero. Uh, and Hyper Beam is a fantastic card, which uh, I absolutely love. Evelfa in the chat is saying she contributed no damage to the heart, but she totally has in uh, showing an interest in me when I play it. The first lady of Slay the Spire support. Cool. So that was my Ascension one run. Um, it's sad we couldn't go for the heart, but honestly, I don't think we would have uh, we would have beaten it anyway. Not with that build. Um, it wasn't particularly broken. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, this is going to be the first one. If you're watching this live now, uh, one of the two of you, <laughs> this is going to be the first one that I actually try and do like a highlight edit reel. Um, I haven't done it before with these, so it should be interesting to see how it see how it goes. Uh, watch out for that one. It might take me a couple of days. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to go for a nice long walk in the countryside, get out of my house, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.